I'm gonna show you five home automations for your HVAC system. That's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning so that your home's energy is actually smart and saves you money and time. If you have a smart thermostat, well, it may not actually be that smart, but when you combine it with home automation software like Home Assistant, you unlock a new world of possibilities. I'll show you five smart home energy automation ideas that I actually use for cost savings, convenience, and comfort. If your heat or air conditioning is running and you open a door or window for a prolonged period of time while well, you're probably wasting energy and money, I have an automation that will pause my HVAC system if it's running and any door or window is open for at least 30 seconds. To make this automation work, you'll need a contact sensor on each of the doors and windows that you care about. In my case, I'm using Ring contact sensors because I have a Ring alarm, but you could use any brand. Then in Home Assistant, you can create a sensor entity with all of these door and window sensors combined. There is even a blueprint that makes setting up this automation super easy, and I'll share a link of it in the description. I love this automation because I don't have to think about turning off the HVAC when we open the windows for the day or my kids run out of the door and forget to close it. Now, a common way to automate your smart thermostat is to set up a geofence around your home and to have your smart thermostat turn off when you leave that geofence. Well, there are a few limitations with this approach. There may be other people at home without smart devices to indicate their presence, or you may be running a quick errand so it's not that necessary to turn off the HVAC. I solved all this in Home Assistant with a series of conditions and an actionable notification. The automation is triggered when either me or my wife leaves home determined by a geofence zone. Then it checks if the doors are all locked, a sign that no one is probably home, and if the thermostat is on. If all that is true, it will delay continuing the automation for three minutes. Why? Because I then have it checked to ensure neither me nor my wife is home and that no presence is detected from any of the presence detection sensors that I have in rooms around the house. My kids are too young to have smartphones, or there may be a babysitter over. So the presence detection sensors provide real confirmation that no one is in the house. However, I have an additional condition to ensure that our robot vacuum does not give a false detection that someone is home if the vacuum is out on a cleaning mission. If all those conditions pass, then it means absolutely no one is home and it will send me a push notification asking if I'd like to turn off the HVAC. This push notification is actionable, meaning I can select options from the notification itself, such as turn off the HVAC or to ignore because I'll be back home in a minute. Let me know if setting up an actual notification is something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I love that this automation puts me in control so I always get the result that I want. By sending me an actionable push notification when no one is home, I am able to decide if I want the HVAC to remain on or to turn off instead of having it just always turn off for me. So if you have the HVAC turn off when you leave home, how do you turn it back on when you return home? Well, there are two different automations that I use to do this, and I'll show you both. If you have a set schedule, for example, everyone going to work or to school, then you can set up an automation that aligns with this routine. I have this automation triggered when me or my wife leaves work determined by a geofence zone. Then it checks if it's after 2 p.m. and it's a weekday to avoid a false trigger, for example, if one of us is going out to lunch. If this condition passes, it activates a scene to recreate what the HVAC was before. For example, if the HVAC was set to heat, it will turn on to heat. If it was set to cool, it will revert to cool. Then I get a push notification confirming the HVAC was turned on. I love how this automation takes all the thought out of it and can recreate the desired temperature in our home before we even get there, while saving us money on our energy bill during the day. Now you may be thinking, how would this work if you're out all day but not at your usual destination, like work? Well, that's where this next automation comes into play. Here, we return to actionable notifications. If I arrive back to our home geofence and the thermostat is off, I'll get an actionable push notification asking if I'd like to turn on the air conditioning or the heat 
or I can just click ignore. I love how this automation avoids a situation where you turn off the HVAC during the day and after a couple of hours, you realize it's too hot or too cold inside because it wasn't turned back on. Let's say you're away from home for a long period of time and the HVAC was off or you returned home after the HVAC was off all day and you didn't turn it back on, or maybe the HVAC was turned off unexpectedly. With this automation, I get a push notification alert sent to my phone if the indoor temperature is outside of the acceptable range. This automation has come in handy. One time, our cleaning service was wiping the face of the smart thermostat and accidentally turned it off on the hottest day of the year while no one else was home. With this automation, I get a notification on my phone telling me it's too hot inside the house so I can take action and turn on the air conditioning or heat no matter where I am. So that's five ways to take your smart thermostat to the next level in Home Assistant. Let me know in the comments how you use automations to manage your energy or which of these you plan to implement in your home. And if you want to know how to make any washer or dryer smart, check out this video here. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.